Hello, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get more out of your quick access toolbar in Excel by adding five hidden gems. Before I jump into the content, please click subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And please stay tuned to the very end because I've got an extra bonus hidden gem for you. Okay, are you ready to Excel? let's go. Before I get started, I just wanted to point out that in the description of this video, there's a link to my blog that goes through the steps of how to add items to your quick access toolbar. In this video today, I just want to focus on what to add rather than how to add it. So first up, I'm going to have a look at my favorite one to add to your quick access toolbar. When I first discovered this one, I thought, wow, where's this been all my life? And here it is. It's, if I click on the drop down, for the quick access toolbar and it's email. Simple as that. And how this one works. So if I wanna send this report off to somebody or perhaps someone sent me this to troubleshoot and fix and I wanna email it back to them, I've got my email icon here on the quick access toolbar. I just click it once. And here we have the email with the spreadsheet attached and that was done in just one click. How quick and easy was that one? Saved so much time. Another favorite of mine is select visible cells. This one's so handy when you're working with spreadsheets with lots of columns that are hidden and you need to copy things around. This one is a lifesaver, more than a time saver. Just saves so much stress and hassle. Let me show you this one. So I click on the drop down, and this time I'm gonna to go to more commands and up here where it says choose commands from, I'm gonna go commands not in the ribbon, click on the first one and I'm just gonna type in select space and then v for visible and it just allows me to search down that list rather than me having to scroll down so you can actually type in what you're looking for so there we have select visible cells click add i'm going to click ok that pops it on there like a little square so let's have a look at how this one works so if you look at my spreadsheet you can see there's some columns missing so i've got b column b c and f is missing and before I copy this data, let me show you something else. I've got some formulas in this last column. Okay, so what I want to do is just copy what I can see on the screen. Okay, so I just highlight that. Click on my little square here on my quick access toolbar. Uh, I'm going to do control C to copy. I'm going to open up a new sheet down here at the bottom. Paste it in here. Control V. Let's just resize that. And what that's done, that's just copied over the visible columns that I had selected, just the visible ones. And if I click where it says cost plus VAT, you can see it hasn't copied over the formula. So that just stops things from going wrong. Uh, let me just show you the alternative if I hadn't used that little square up there. So if I select this one, Control C to copy, go to my uh, sheet, pop it into here. So if I paste it in without using the the option there on the quick access toolbar, it pastes in all of the columns. And this can be very frustrating when you're working on a big spreadsheet and there's loads of columns hidden. So I recommend using this one, and popping it onto your quick access toolbar, select visible cells. So this next option, I don't use too often, but it is so handy, especially when you're working, again, when you're working with multiple spreadsheets and uh, you're trying to sort of present it in a way that's sort of readable for the user or whoever you're sending it to and uh, you just want to keep everything in one place. Let me show you this one. So I'm going to go to the drop down. I'm going to go to more commands. I'm going to switch to commands that are not in the ribbon. And the one I'm going to show you is something called a camera. So I'm typing it in camera down there at the bottom. Click add, click OK. So how this one works, if I select this range, I'm going to click on the camera. Okay, and I'm going to go to another sheet down here at the bottom called Dashboard. Got some examples here already, and I'm just going to click. I don't need to draw it in. I can if I want to, but I'm just going to click, and it will just put in the selection. And what it does, it does it as an image, so this can go anywhere. So you're not restricted by the column sizes or anything like that. Uh, you can even resize it if you needed to. So if you need it to be bigger, then you can do that. Now the great thing about this camera icon is how it updates, okay? So it's not just a, a screenshot. So what you have here, let's have a look. Let me give you an example. So where it says Lucius Fox, taxi, got the date and the cost here. What I'm gonna do is go to expenses. I'm gonna change this one to say 30, press enter. Let's go back to the dashboard now. 
and it's updated it here as well. So as you can see, it's a really, really useful function. Just saves a lot of time of formatting. And uh, like I said, you don't have to adjust rows or columns to get different tables uh, and spreadsheets to fit in. So just use that camera option. Okay, so for my next one, let's go to the drop down. Let's click on more commands. I'm gonna switch this one again to commands not on the ribbon. And this next one's called speak cells. You're gonna love this one. The geek in me loves this one anyway. So the idea of this uh, speak cells is it will actually talk through the cells. So the idea of this one is more for the visually impaired, but it can be quite handy if you're cross-checking with this spreadsheet. So maybe you've got a printout of something, a document, and you wanna cross-check it. This is how I use it. So all you do is just click, press the icon here, speak cells, and what it will do, it will talk through the cells one by one. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you can hear this. Lucius Fox, taxi, 31 slash 03 slash 2019, 30 pounds, Selena Kyle. And as you can see, it then goes on to the next row. Oh. So how amazing is that? Such a great little icon there, such a great option, and that's speak cells. I don't use this next option very often, but people I've shown it to, people that do a lot of data entry love it, absolutely love this one. So let me show you it. So if I click on the drop down, more commands, you get the drill now. I'm gonna change this to commands not in the ribbon. Click on the first one, type in form. Let me show you how this one works. Click OK. So there's my form icon up here. So how this one works, and it's great for that data entry. It basically turns your spreadsheet into like a, a little mini sort of database here. So it's gone to the first entry. Um, you can use things like if you want to do a search, so if I click criteria, I want to find the expense type for taxi. Click find next. It will find the next record with taxi. And I just click down and it will go to the next one. Where it's really useful is if I click on new, I can then type in my entry. And when I click new, that will add it to the spreadsheet in the background there. And let me just show you that. If I close on this one, go down to the bottom, and there is, there's my details. So there we have five amazing options to add to your quick access toolbar, but don't run away just yet. I've got that hidden gem to show you that not even advanced users know about. Let me show you. So we've got our calculator here, the standard old calculator, which I normally have saved or pinned to my taskbar. And it's not just a calculator. If I click down here for more options, further down, you've got converters. So you no longer need to go onto Google to find a converter. So for example, let's go to weight and mass. I've got pounds to kilograms. I'm gonna change this to kilos. Change the second one to stone. Put in the weight. And it will convert it to uh, to stone, so that's just over 14 and a half stone. It also tells you what it is in proportion of tons and how many elephants that would be. So 0 0.02 elephant. elephants is what 92 kilos is. So that's my hidden gem. How amazing is that one? So that's part of your calculator. So you've just got it here at your fingertips and I recommend pinning this to your taskbar. This brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. To see more videos like this, then please click subscribe.